Jesse. Look, you and Angela for solid, all right? You're as solid as it gets. <laughs> Look at, you know, what you've already been through. This is different, Dad. Oh, yeah? You think? I don't know if she's even gonna want me to help her through this. I lied to her, man. I t <laughs> My baby died. Kept it a secret. She wasn't there when the baby was buried. I personally would never forgive me for something like this. <sighs> That's because you have no idea how special you are. What a good man you are. And I should know. I have known you since... Hell, since right after you and Angela met. You know? I always looked up to you. Respected you because you, both of you had something that I, I simply didn't think existed. You know? I couldn't believe it. Because it's real. It's as real as it gets. And it's going to stay that way. Don't thank me. Just stick with me, babe. Come on, have a little faith, all right? Try to believe. You did what you did because you love her, Angela, so much. And somewhere inside, she has got to know that. What she needs right now is a win, Dad. She's pinning every hope that she has on getting her sight back. That depends on Dr. David Hayward, and I hate the hell out of that. So you still believe you could have saved Leora? Yes, I do. How, David? Even you have limitations. We all do. I don't believe in limitations, Angie. And that's what's driven you, haunted you, ever since she died. Wait till the loss sinks in. Then we'll talk. I know I'm going to have to find some way to deal with my grief. But I can't right now. But I do have faith that one day I'll be able to. Faith, huh? I never really put much stock in that. Always believed in... Controlling my own destiny. I prefer putting mine in something that is bigger than myself. You should try it sometime. <laughs> you really think God would have me? I think you'd be a challenge. But yes, I do. I envy you, Angie. Your faith. Right now, I don't need your envy, David. I need your talent. Give me my eyes back. My body can handle the surgery. Oh, you're late. We have to get the airport right away. Um, I'm not going. What? What do you mean? Why not? Well, um, uh, something has uh, kind of come up and, well, actually, no, it's uh, so some someone did. Someone? Who? Who could uh, possibly be more important? Uh, Sam Brady. Sam who? You remember Sam Brady, that, that hunk of lunk of handyman that I dated about a, a years ago? Well, he's coming to town for a visit, and, and he wants to see me. And I, I don't know, you know, maybe he's been thinking about me all these years, or, or, or I, but it's gotten me thinking about him. You know, you know, oh, but you have just, to slow down. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm so excited. Well, obviously. Yeah. But, Allison, can't this reunion wait just a few days? No, no. He'd be here and gone by the time we get back. But this trip is so important I to know, me. I know, I know it is, but don't you see? I mean, this, this is the, the first time in, in, in a million years since I can remember that I, I felt this way about a guy. And I know, I know it could just turn out to be absolutely nothing. But when I got Sam's message, I, I, I got that same sort of flippity flop and feeling in my stomach that I used to get when Sam was rewiring my sockets. But, Opal, I was counting on you. I know you were, I know, but you... You gotta realize, you know, I, I, I may not have uh, press junkets like you do or people trying to steal my life, but I do still have a life. 
And at least the man that is coming to visit, I know, is actually alive. All right. Fine. I mean, if you've made up your mind and everything. Fine. You're not real mad, are you? No. No. Just listen to me. Do not even whisper a word to Jack about my other reason for going to L.A. Yeah, no, no, my lips are sealed. Or with any luck at all, they'll be locked on somebody else's. I spoke to Jesse. I hope you're not mad at me. I mean, I, I, I hope you understand why I couldn't be the one to tell you the truth. You're his best friend for almost longer than I can remember. I knew Jesse would do the right thing. I meant what I said. He's a good man. Yeah. One of the best. I know that. If they weren't such nice people, it would be so much easier for me to just... Take your daughter and leave? I know that that's what everyone wants to know. What is she going to do now? not easy. Don't I know it. I'm sorry, Maya. It never is. The same thing happened to you, right? You went off searching for your daughter. Kathy, that's right. How long did it take for you to find her? A long time. Yeah. Years. Maya... If you're asking me if it's okay for you to take your daughter, go somewhere else and make a home for yourself. I'm sorry I can't answer that question. Only you can. And only you. David feels confident that I'll be able to go through the surgery. I'll call Frankie and tell him it's back on. Good. He wanted to be home. Angela. I was listening to David just now talking about his little girl who died when she was just a baby. He's still so angry, even after all this time. Carrying around all this blame and bitterness when really there was nothing anyone could. I tried to save you from living through all that pain, Angela. And I did everything I did because I... running a CBC test on myself. I've been sick and weak, and I'm afraid the cancer's come back. Are you following me now? Just making sure you don't miss your flight. That's it? That's all you're going to say? You're not going to tell me anything more? I told you everything you need to know. Well, you really don't trust me, do you? This is more a matter of you trusting me. Don't stay away too long. You're going to miss all the fun. Mm -hmm. 